We met you in a, in a vegan restaurant, actually. Veggie Grill. Do you still, oh, do you still go there? Yeah, Classic. hell yeah. My girlfriend and I, it's her favorite restaurant. I've been trying to get sponsored by Veggie Grill for years. Uh, they haven't yet. It's so good. Fantastic. So good. Again, I want to dive into this vegan stuff with you guys because yeah. that's fascinating to me. Like big bulky men. Yeah, I, I saw that you went vegan for a short period I of tried, time. I tried. I okay, um, yeah, we'll tried. I tried twice, dude. I went for four months mm -hmm. uh, before my first fight against KSI. And I, I've mentioned this on this podcast before. I got to a point where my body was literally consuming itself. Like my muscles were eating away at themselves because I couldn't support myself because I wasn't getting the nutrition that I needed. I, I had a, a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. I had a private chef. I had I got my blood drawn and tested. And for some reason, the vegan diet does not fit my body type, yeah. which is why I'm I'm looking at you guys. You're 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 bulky kids. You're fit. You're Thank athletic. You. You're big. How tall are you guys? Like six foot? I'm six. Yeah, I'm yeah six, like, foot. six I'm foot. Right. Brother. So so how is your body not literally just metabolizing itself to the point where it's just a, a constantly burning furnace? I don't know. I feel like there's a misconception about macronutrients, especially protein. Sure, sure. Like you don't need as much as people say you do, especially to build muscle. When sure. you're talking about like bulking and and putting on muscle and size, it, it kind of comes down more to like calories and your yeah. caloric intake. We didn't just like di like blindly dive into sure. the vegan yeah. diet. Like it's it was mainly for ethical reasons. That's why it started. But then I was like very fascinated about how. It was the best for my health as well. Like after I watched a couple of documentaries, um, and then al also the feeling that it brought me. So like I I had always been like eating like lean meat and egg whites and all that shit, yeah. and staying away from anything that was like quote unquote bad for yeah, you, sure. like red meat and stuff like that. Um, and I was dairy free for about a year, and I I just never felt the health benefits of my diet that was like supposedly really clean. Mm, mm, mm. And then I was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this vegan thing a try. I had like this realization, and yeah, we we went vegan for ethical reasons. And then three weeks after like holding on to like a, like and staying really strict on the vegan diet, I was like, what the fuck? I can like all of a sudden run so much more. My muscular endurance is like all the way up. Like, yeah. I, and I felt the benefits from eating healthy finally. Well, so that's why I, it's it's clean. You're putting like premium fuel into your body. There's it's no just plants. extra additives or yeah, it's it's literally the most natural shit. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and that three to four week window is the window where you'll start to feel it and you finally burn off all that excess bullshit that was in your past diet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except the longer I went, the more I started to notice like this is affecting me in a negative way. How long have you been ve vegan for? 10 uh, months. Coming up in 10 months. Yeah. Damn. Yo, but you really also, vegan. but you yeah. also, you probably don't train the way he was training for a fight. Like this yeah. kid was this guy. I'm sure, I'm sure no, you guys yeah, are no, working I out, I understand. but he was, he was working out like twice a day for Super a total of like four hours a day, just like overtraining mm -hmm. and shit. So I think it was a combination of I, I think, you needing the fuel for that kind of workout. Totally. Yeah. You know I, think, I think sometimes like when something's different in our life, like whether it be diet or the amount of sleep that we've been getting, like we like to say that or, or pin the blame on feeling like fatigued or tired or sure. just a little bit off just because something's different in our lives sure. so it might not have been your diet you may have been getting sick and you were just like oh i think it's because the vegan thing. but is this sickness correlated to a weaker immune system because of the diet that doesn't fit my blood type or body type whatever it is because the a caveat that i would put on that is because we all thought the same thing you know, i'm training four hours a day i'm definitely overtraining in my yeah. body i haven't eaten plants for mm. an extended period of time my whole life and now all of a sudden I'm doing it during the most intense training session of my life. But the caveat I would say is uh, last year in January, we tried to do vegan, vegan January. Like uh, We made it, right? We, no. Oh, I made it. You did. Yeah. I got 28 days in and the same thing happened. I wasn't training. I was just living my life and the same thing. I was like, yo, this is, I, tr I tried. I just got so fatigued. Maybe you just weren't eating enough. But I'm telling what, you, it was perfect. Yeah, he had a, he had Private like a scientific chef, yeah. nutritionist, yeah, yeah, yeah. calories I, counting every day. Yeah. Like it, I I have to say at the yeah. end of the day, to different strokes for different yeah, folks. Yeah, hundred percent. It came down yeah, to. That makes sense. Definitely. There's people like Michaela Peterson, Jordan Peterson's daughter, who's like kind of fixed all her health issues by having a completely carnivore diet. Diet. Just yeah, I heard it's like Rogan, Rogan's, Rogan's tried it. Yeah, absolutely. How could you do that? I think yeah, it sounds I think statistically, you do end up like shitting yourself on that diet. Though. Yeah, I'm that's just, facts. Just something that, yeah, that's like, facts. You, you, I, I honestly, I can, I can honestly say that I, I've only had one stomach ache in the past ten months since going vegan. And before that, it was like, oh shit, like I go to the bathroom, like, I'm gonna make it. Yeah. You so not I mean? shitting, was, so not like, shitting yourself. That's no, it was from that was from antibiotics. It was. Yeah, and I was gonna get into that. The only stomach ache that I've had is from antibiotics because I had a sinus infection. Okay, but also. Bro, I've, I've been down that path. You know, with a vegan diet, you eat food and it's coming out of you within 30 minutes. I know y'all are pooping three to four times a no. day. No. That's cap. No, I have no. cap. No. I, I take one healthy one. It's scheduled for 11 a.m. after I have oats and coffee. Scheduled Like in your poops. calendar? And I, and I don't like mean to get too graphic. Yeah, I don't yeah, shit I'm enough. To fit I, in, wish I, I wish I shat. How is it possible? I don't know. I, I sometimes I like, go two days without shitting. 
What yeah. are you talking about? Every vegan I know is a pooping machine. Oh, Max oh, Toilet really? is disgusting. Seriously? Uh, just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, absolutely. I poop one time a day. Are you but vegan? But that poop. I'm vegetarian. Oh, okay. I think, I think, I think it's all... It, like, shitting, I think I would definitely... Like, it, it recommend ca- no it has to do with calories <laughs> like if you're if you're, if you're in a caloric so, like surplus then you're probably going to be shitting more because your body doesn't need all the nutrients you're taking and if you're in a deficit you'll be shitting way less if you're right at maintenance you'll be shitting pretty much fascinated by yeah, bowel well. movements really am yeah, yeah.